Today, we're gonna to learn how to use the kick scanner. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk up and press the end session button to make sure I'm gonna show you this with a clean slate. Now, the first question I really need to ask is, what type of book do I have? Is it actually gonna lay flat? Let's take a look at this. And the answer with this book is, well, not as well as it could. So in this case, what I can do is I could bring up the sides and use what's called the V mode. So I can either lay the book down flat or I can bring up the sides and that'd be a lot easier on the book. And if I turn back to the beginning of the book, when I scan, it'll make the pages look nice and flat. So I'm gonna come over to the kick scanner and I'm gonna come over and I'm gonna change it from auto mode to V mode. And there you see the scanner set up for V mode and the book is in the cradle and it's also in V mode. The next question is, do I want to be in color? Well, if I look, that picture's in color, so I want to be in color. Now, for quality, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna change it from normal quality to high quality. And I press the button, you see it says scan auto split. I touch accept on the copyright notice. And I look over and it scans both pages. And look at that, it did a great job of scanning both pages and it split it beautifully. Now, I'm gonna come over here, turn the page, do it again. And it's very interesting because you can see where it split it there, which may not always be where you want it to be, but it did a pretty good job still. So I turn the page, I hit scan again, And it did a really good job of splitting those pages again. So let's just keep going and see how quickly we can scan. The trick to scanning with the kick scanner is really paying attention to what you have and what you're doing with it. What you see on the screen is exactly what you're getting. So if you're unhappy with the way it splits, if you're not happy with the way the book is lying, if you want to put it in flat mode via v, instead of V mode, all those things are up to you. We've had people walk up and just put a single sheet of paper down, scan it and leave. It works great for that. But ask yourself, what quality? Do you need color? Are you gonna take it with you via USB for the highest quality? Are you gonna email yourself? And remember, because you don't want it to crash, make sure you always do this in batches. Don't do more than 50 pages at a time before you stop and save your work and then you can continue on with the next batch. It's really, really easy to use and I actually invite you to explore some of the options. You might find there's more capabilities here than you ever imagined. So now that I'm done, I can either send this PDF via email or to my USB drive, but I'm gonna click the more options and see what else we have. You'll notice there's a quick PDF and there's a searchable PDF. I do not wanna make a searchable PDF now because I can always do that in Acrobat later. If I want the highest quality, I will use a USB drive and take it with me locally, but I didn't bring one because I'm bad and I'm gonna instead email it to myself. So I'm gonna come over here and type in my email address So now it is gonna compress this PDF and it's gonna send it. I wanna make sure that I don't send too many pages at once so that things don't crash on me. So I'm gonna make sure I don't do more than you know 25 or 50 pages at a time before I email it to myself. Even if I'm gonna save the USB drive, I wanna make sure that I save in batches just to make sure things are secure. And I can hit end session if I'm done or I can go back and do a whole other batch of images, it's up to you. If you're looking for the highest quality, always use a USB drive. There's nothing wrong with sending the files via email, but they do lower the quality when you send them that way. Anyway, that's how you use the kick scanner. It's really easy. I just like to show off where some of the more advanced options are so you can squeeze all the quality you can out of this scanner.